I'm going to stop for shinies and you'll catch up. So. Okay. Well, uh, and if it gets dark, um, you can start setting up well, those. Well, I was about to say, so are, to are we going to do the hide in a, in a hut or are we going to do the climb up on top of a, of a pillar? Uh, I was just thinking we'd hide up, you know, do a quick hut. Only either one of them is going to give us away if somebody were to come across us, but there's no PvP. Well, right, so. right now there's no PvP. So. Yeah, so we don't have to worry about that. Ideally, though, uh, it would be best to be like in the cave that you know you kind of wall up a bit of a safety spot in a cave, right. so it's less, less. With it, with it raining, we're gonna have to probably stop for night. Or we could just try to keep moving too. Yeah. Sometimes um, that's hard to do. I'm a mob magnet. We can yeah. try. <laughs> I I do have the bed on me. That is kind of precious. That is right. kind of precious. I'm really, really so excited that we have... Oh, I see you. <laughs> yeah, I told you. I am so excited that we have um, the new bed. Now, honestly, I think with you know concentrated effort, we can, you know, just a couple of trips make this. And again, we should be fairly safe during the day. Yep. And I just started recording, I figured, just in case something fun happens on our trip. Oh, yeah. This is a, pre I guess this is a desert. Do we want cactus Good. for anything? I mean, is there any point in cactus? Well, cactus is not a bad thing for defenses. Um, right. Here's the biggest thing about cactus that may come into, may come into play in game. Uh-huh. You know, I mean, you can, you can lay yeah. that down at somebody's feet and, you know, poke, poke, poke. But you can they're... put it on sand though, right? So. Yes. Yes. There would have to bring sand too, then I guess. Well, that's true. Uh, the only other thing is that you know. If, oh, there if you are. You ran past me. Oh, I did. I bobbed yeah. and weaved. I know that you, you, you know, you can get. Oh, uh, there's a bunch of zombies heading oh. this way. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, grab it. Let's All keep right, moving. Let's go. Towards our base. Okay, I'm loving that the base is a good distance. That was critical. That we get some space. Oh. Now, from what Cammy said in chat, there was it was a, a, a nice, uh, an awesome cave or something like that. And like you yeah, said, they were happy. Yeah, it's a pretty good cave system, and okay. they were happy with it. And they found metals and stuff nearby. Excellent, um, excellent. It was overall sounded like a good, good spot. So. Right, and and uh, Falaron feels really confident that he can uh, that you know that we can find a way to uh, to hide it and such. He he knew going right. in that hideable entry is is a key thing. Uh, but yeah, right. there's a great cave system that we can get some uh, access to metals. Because was That's working beautiful. on lighting up the cave system this morning too. So awesome, awesome. Ooh, another uh, Did you ravine. Get shot? Oh, okay. Nope, nope. Oh, Just saw wow. ravines opening up to the left and decided yeah. I wanted to go to the right. Yeah. That's the bad thing about this game is the the whole loose dirt thing. You can be running across the open field. And you hear that sound, and you just kind of clench up, waiting. I know, I know. my stomach, my <laughs> stomach, I, like my heart drops or whatever. It's like the whole. Yeah, like, yeah, I do that. Know, I just being like, like building up high in Minecraft, and then I look down to go over the edge and shift, and I'm like, oh my yeah. belly, oh my belly. Yeah, I definitely yeah. get that stomach in the pit of my, uh, uh, pit of my stomach <sighs> in my chest sort of feeling. Yep. Yeah. yeah. The only thing I wish. Whoa, that hurt. That I wish we had is uh, like a pickaxe or something like this stuff here. I'm pretty sure is coal and it's exposed. It'd be nice well, to be able to pick it up. We should be able to m mouse it and get an idea, or you know, it could. Just... Oh yeah, I know exactly what it is by looking at it, but I won't be able to actually, you know, if we yeah, wanted get a hold it's of it. It's It's coal and kale night. I think kale night's worthless, but coal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the kale night's nothing. That is awesome. I really am liking this. Now, we can have... Obviously, we're not going to be able to do a whole orchard thing. I'm curious if we could have the trees underground. Because I know in Season 1, we could have the trees underground. So much has changed since Season 1, though. Yeah. So, before we plant I this out, the I trees, we need oh. to kind of get some confirmation. Dude. I uh. saw a hole and I just jumped <laughs> over it. I wasn't, like, reflex. But I was looking to see how far to drop it would have been. It was only a couple... Oh, but see, here's some more up up ahead on the left. Look at all that exposed yep. ore. That's all coal, I'm pretty sure. That would also be a dead giveaway that somebody's here, too. If I was walking by and I saw a whole big old thing, I'd be like, mmm. 
Now we can have uh, our trees can be kind of in the distance, you know, if there's just, you know, a random tree here and there. But obviously we can't have a whole orchard outside that just says, hey. Right. Uh, this and is we can't cultivated. plant trees that aren't native to the area either. Because like right now where you're seeing no trees, if all of a sudden you ran into a bunch of just random trees Red of woods different types. Redwoods or something, yeah. Or, or a You would be suspicious. Randoms. Yeah, and definitely. And I'm thinking this is actually close to where I found the sheep. Because this looks familiar. So we're about halfway. This is... Um, is where I got this puppy oh. and, and the sheep. Because there's, there's a sequoia forest Hold the that I phone. went through. Look to the right. I don't know what your render is and stuff, but that is fabulous. Yeah, that, uh, I think that's the same mountains I had looked at before. Am I the only one who thinks at at when I look at that with that head stuck out in the? Okay, you know, during the day, not. I'm you know I'll just I just figured I'd make trips because getting things moved yeah, over. Yeah, I don't mind to go back and forth. Yeah, is a priority now. Uh, All right. Were you on Honestly, earlier, Zach? Honestly, if when... deaths don't really matter, I mean. Earlier? I'm not even against dropping all the stuff off and jumping off a cliff and oh to get back to the other spot right away yeah to because our other base is pretty close to spawn. Well, in that case, I should It'd totally punch you in the face. Oh, wow. <laughs> we can have some fun with it, kill each I, other. I see how you are. Yes, yes. Any chance that? Well, James, if you're gonna die anyways. If you're going to die anyway, let me. That's why, like let last me night, kill you. Pack is going all good. Oh shit. What? 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 What the hell? My donkey got born. Oh! oh it did? We were yeah. just we speculating on where it is. It's by the... Oh, yeah, because we weren't sure if you had impregnated a donkey or impregnated a horse. And Valron was, make, was looking for the other large um, hides and we couldn't find them. And so he was like, oh, well, I'll just kill this horse. And I said, well, make sure it doesn't have a saddle. And after he killed him, I'm like, I uh, wonder if that was the one that was pregnant with the mule. Yeah, I guess well, not. Sex them, they'll tell you if they're preggers. If, the, if it was well, right to the house, that was probably check. my horse. That was the, probably well, the male horse. That I did played. you have a, um, uh-oh, a bear? Uh -oh. Bears are aggressive or no? Bears are aggressive, yes. Bears, yeah. bears are aggressive. Bears will eat your face. Because I've seen bears before and they've not bothered me. And I would oh, that's what I say lucky me. <laughs> Sorry for that. I say lucky you. Um, I, I, it's actually a rather pleasant trip. To I mean, it is a good far distance. What I was saying about were you here earlier, Zach? I know you guys were you were on a lot. Uh, I meant were you here when they found the base? Were you able to you know hear anything about the the potential new base they found? Which is no. It looks like that. they have found an awesome cave system. They should have gotten some imgers pictures of it that would have um, been yeah I did. we don't have any pictures or anything but the two scouts are very happy with it and it's a good oh i heard growling oh crap and it's a good distance oh, away borax do we need borax for anything uh it's just flux oh okay oh a tree so, oh oh what kind of tree i don't know i'm going it, to see yeah just fruit tree leaves pluck that sucker i don't see the the bear on our tuchus so and i'm trying to avoid the ooh shinies <laughs> Even though there's another not too bad, especially another bush. How close we are. Yeah, a random bush right now wouldn't be bad to see out. An elder bush, an elderberry bush. I yeah, we definitely have some of those. Yep. But actually I think elderberry was one of the yeah. better mills that we found. Some blackberry bushes and they smacked me a couple times. Oh man, this is beautiful. <sighs> I'm yep, like 25 blocks again. away, and oh, 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 I'm in love. Well, I'll be <gasps> glad the guys, will be, I'm sure the oh. guys will be glad to hear that. Oh, this is as so. I'm failing to parkour my way up. This is so beautiful. Out, uh, outside is spectacular. I can see, yeah, new base flat right here. Um,. That's so do you see an obvious entrance? Well, uh, yeah, I see a hell of a lot of oh. torches. More copper, guys. One, two, three, four, five pieces right here. I'm There's popping a... the middle one and Pate I'm setting dead. a... You're dead? You're dead? Yeah. Would you drop... What happened? Suffocate um, again? I hit a wall. You hit a wall? No, I'm not dead. Okay. Okay. Um, 
I can definitely see where they've torched everywhere. It's going to take a little bit to make this home. Well, yeah. Cinnabar. This is really interesting. So I can see where he went around and torched. I, this is one of my favorite um, color combos here. You know, that, that dark, dark, uh, that whatever it is, uh, the black... The basalt. The, bas the basalt? Yeah, I yeah. like the basalt. And basalt's a good um, ore For rock other too, things isn't it? to find, yeah. Oh, they actually they actually put down a little sheep bed, a, a little sleeping yeah. bag bed. They killed, remember, they killed a horse they for that. They did kill the horse, yeah. Oh, and there's actually sheep here, too. Okay, everything. One, two, four sheep. Every, they've got a little toolbox or a little tool shelf. Everything is completely exposed, just just right at the entrance. So we are going to have, and they did a quick torch of everything. They put down stuff. Um, we are definitely going to have to go in and figure out, you know, safe entry and an exit. That's not going to be so obvious that hey, there's torches right. everywhere. Right. Yeah. When they left, there were still lots of hours left to right. to hide stuff too. So. Right, so definitely not fussy. Not oh oh, and there's another entryway over here. Yeah, they were saying that there would we would need to be hiding stuff. So yeah, there's several entryways. Oh, that's that is awesome. Okay, for now the question is. Should we just drop all of our stuff in this front area where they're at and then move as we secure someplace deeper to get it here? Or do we actually find someplace deeper and set up there while we're hauling? I think getting it here is the biggest. Is the biggest. Yeah, thing. I think getting it here. I mean, it, it really didn't take off a long. Was it three days? So it takes us about an hour to get here. Yeah. About an hour, and we've got, you know, two and a half is what I'm thinking. See, did you see this? No, I'm coming. What, what did I see? What? This hole right here. When you where, look at where I walked out, there's a hole in the dirt. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That, and that's what I'm saying is there's ravine down there. This is this is a, a thinly covered ravine. Nice. So, yeah, we're definitely that's, that's what i'm saying is we are definitely right over a thinly covered ravine it's an excellent spot to go down there because you won't see our name tags if you just casually walk over you know you're not going to be as likely to see our name tags etc right so it, it's an excellent spot as far as that goes it's also a great big open spot now the only thing about picking this exact spot is you can see the um you can see the ores, and so it's a natural temptation to go, oh, let's explore this one, if somebody actually made it out here. Uh, yeah. We would have to harvest those ores, and I was about to say, I think you need a drink or something. Yeah, I do. I can see your, I can see your fix. Um, yeah, but how do I... I can't drink from the bucket. Nope. I don't know, can you put a bucket and a jug together to get the water out of the bucket? No. Do you have? Did you bring any barrels? Nope. Do you not have a full jug? No, I drank. I've the got jug. jug. Oh, I've got jugs, but I was just getting ready to go fill them back up just now because I just drank mine. Uh -oh. How close are you to like being in trouble? Oh, I got a bubble in half. It just it just kicked off. So, on. is there going to be some magic, or do I have a lot of walking to do? Okay. Well, first uh, of all, you have some both. walking, but but we have a temporary hut because of the no PVP right now. That has a bed, and you can get to, like, Toot Sweet from spawn. Okay. Do you have Do you have Ray's mini map thingy installed? Yeah, I'm going to um, pull okay. up our document and put the coordinate in. I so. suggest you get spawn while you're there, and then we have our temporary base, and which I think is both is listed on there, and we have the one that we're moving to. Dark, we are actually in a really, really nice position. Um, we've got metal. We've got base tools. We did lose a little bit on the initial trip um, to the new place. So we did lose hey, a pro pick. We were pick. better off until a little bit ago. but Yeah, we did lose okay. a pro pick, but we're, you know, we're actually really, really still good. We uh, have a lot of metals. 
lost all our tools and most our metal. We are going to need you uh, to come to the temporary base, uh, set your spawn and all that good stuff, and then load them up. Drax on his way here too. Uh, I suggest you all do the same thing with the clay. Make more vessels. Uh, you know, to try to make the filling up of our stuffs more effective. It's about an hour or so to get all the way to the new base, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be a walk. But with Drac doing it, Drac and I have already made a run. Uh, Zach was making a run, but unfortunately, uh, he did die, and was and try and then died multiple times getting to his death point. So he we did lose some stuff there. Um, that said, we've got uh, Drac and I are making one more run. With your run, we actually should be pretty close to everything. Right. You know, everything I'm assuming. Out of it. I'm assuming this tent base was just in our. Our it's initial direction that we headed off. Actually, baby, but, it's no. not. We went our initial okay. direction. We had and, and we ran out of land, and kept having to veer more and more north. Uh, my initial direction. I was the second one. I was second place at the sumo, oh, and good. I know, right? So it's like, oh, uh, so Ray picked east. I picked west. Uh, Etho picked uh, south, and uh, Pat got stuck with north. And we actually ran. I like how you said stuck. <laughs> well, he was fussing. There was he was shouting North sucks in the chat, and his entire team. I'm we're thinking combat logging. His entire team was coming and going, and coming and going and logging. Uh, so he he likes either east or west or something like that, doesn't he? Yeah, he typically likes the east or west, and he's typically you know like second or so. So he usually gets something like that. But he ended up being he was the first one out. And then it was Etho, wow. and it came down to Ray and I. And Ray actually, when he when he, when I got out, because we were smacking each other for a few minutes, just the two of us. I mean, no well, seconds, I guess. But um, when he actually got me out, I went flying. He got like five punches on me while I was in the air. I just went flying out of the arena. So it was actually a really good sumo. It was a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, so I went west. But like I said, we ran into Pac's entire team because we had a, you know west went away. And we were not willing to cross the ocean. Um, remember season one, Pac, you know, you you were on our team in season one. Uh, Pac's team did cross an ocean. So I am not putting it past him if he went, okay, we got no choice. Let's build a boat and go. Uh, we don't really know. The only thing, we did come across Miheyu, which is on, who's on Ray's team. Uh, but he was about a thousand blocks from our temp base and it was just him and Kitty, uh, not Kitty, um, Cammy, um, out there just, uh, you know, both of them were out scouting, you know, very exposed, just grabbing some, some trees and oh, Awesome. What kind of, <laughs> I, have, I have a, I have a copper pick. We, you want to try it and just see how it goes? Yeah, see. It looks like it's breaking it real fast. So it should be fine then. Oh, crap. Did it? Did it poof? I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh. All right, dude. We got. We can pick up uh, everything. That did like help us too. So yeah, it, once you guys get here, it's gonna be time to start figuring out uh, where we can go. Now, from the very front of our entrance, we can see that there's a very thinly covered um, ravine. It goes down deep, so we may even have to make some. Um, uh, I'm thinking we make ladders. And we make our way down because there's a fairly straight access from right out front. We can get ladders and make our way down, you know, place them down uh -huh. to get down. And then we could be, you know, set right there with just, you know, a gravel at the sit sitting at the top of that until we work the, you know, work out the, the front closing step. Being deep is also good because they're not as likely to see your name. You know, right. If you're at their face level yep. or just down a little bit and they're walking by, they're going to go, oh, hi, because they'll see your name tag before you realize they're there. So, the other vessels are done if you have room for them, Dark. Oh, this is fantastic. By the way, I took all of the uh, the water buckets that we had already brought over and filled. Oh, 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 there's another Brin Bismuth Bronze pickaxe, Prospector's Picks, excuse me, in this chest, too. Nice. So, so we we're have, not as bad off as we thought. And then we now we've got another copper picks. axe, too. Okay. We have a copper axe, a bismuth uh, uh, axe, or a black axe. I'm not sure which one. And we have two pro picks. Okay. We are sitting 
very nicely. And we've got the uh, we've got the saw, we've got the chisel. It's not as bad. We did lose a you know a set of picks, but and a lot of ore. We lose a set of picks, and we and we lost a lot of ore. But to be fair, but, we had a hell of a lot of ore. So it, that's yeah, not we like had, we, we had, had done no pretty ore. good. Yeah, and yeah. it's not like we haven't found a lot of ore heading over there. I've got several large uh, setting you know smackerels of uh, ore that I found. And then plus we have exposed native copper sitting right there right. in base. So. And there's some small, and I brought over stuff. There's some small business. There's um, some native copper nuggets here over a stack of native copper nuggets just chilling in, in hematite and stuff. So we definitely have stuff, Svalorite. We definitely, definitely have a lot in the way of supplies. This is not, this is not a bad yeah. setup. I definitely, wow, could I say definitely anymore? Uh, <laughs> definitely. Definitely, you guys. Nice. On cue. Totally. Definitely. Like, totally, totally in a good position. But no, I can really do a ballet <laughs> girl. I'm not going to do that. Um, but I do think, yeah, we're going to be in a position now to focus on on that. Like I said, oh, there, we already had three sacks of clay here. Focus on yeah, the. Yeah, I brought clay, a lot of clay with me. Sweet. So we had three sacks of clay here too. Awesome. Focus on the camouflaging. And I'm really thinking our best, fastest route is going to be to go sh straight down to the bottom of the ravine and start making that home base. And at sort of at concurrently making some camouflage on the outside exposure. So we can still have the, the torches lighting up, etc. But we're going to want to work on the camo. I like your idea. Oh, sleep pools on? <laughs> nice. That's a lot of people online. <laughs> I do not think so, Mr. Man. Nice to see a little bit of every color, though. It really is nice to see a little bit of every color. Yeah, people are waiting for the 30 minutes to go by. So that's what I was about to tell you. It's hour yeah. five. Sun is shining. Oh, I forgot about all our trees out here. Oh, well, I guess someone gets some you free can trees. You the little saplings if you want. Well, but a lot of them grew because we've been keeping it active. Nice. Well, just pop the little ones and it'll be more natural as somebody runs by. Yeah, I'm not worried about it because it's... I mean, there's not much that we're leaving, right? Where are you going? Yes, that help, oh, you're still helps looking. if okay. I... I was looking around, but yeah, I need a, to yep. turn off. I've got too much going. There we go. New base. There we go. Okay. Um... I am going to have to get some supper going here. Right, I'm going to have to do supper, and then I will come back for a while. I'm not going to be streaming until 7 or 8 tonight because I really want to stay focused with this. So uh, we're here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I just sat here in the night, and I didn't sleep. You <laughs> stupid, derpy, freaking woman. I just... You still haven't tied your spawn there yet? No. <laughs> no, I'm, like, putting all the vessels down. I was... Looking through to hey, see honey. if we had pigs. Yes. Honey, don't forget to set your spawn. Thanks. Let me go do that right now. Like, uh, you can only sleep at night. Is this fresh water? 